Despite Saturday's fire, which you can see badly charred the women's entrance here, Al Huda never closed and doesn't plan to. We caught up with a worshiper here for Sunday afternoon prayer. Ahmed Salhiami has been praying here for about a year. He was saddened by news of this suspected arson, cleanup efforts of which are just getting started. Sad, you know, for what happened. And uh, I hope that they don't happen again for any Moscow church, you know. I hope, I hope so too. But you are still here for 12:30 prayer. Yeah, we have. Yeah, I have to come. You know, I have to come. He says on Fridays, especially this parking lot is full. It's a place Dawood Walid of Care, Michigan, has both prayed and preached at many times. Every time such uh, events take place where there are threats or mass vandalisms, then we always speak with the imams and tell them to review the security measures. Al Huda does have a security system in place and surveillance something local and federal investigators will be looking at. It just so happens that one day before the fire, the American Human Rights Council, located in Dearborn, sent out a memo reminding places of worship to tighten security in wake of recent threats around the country to synagogues and HBCUs. Officials believe this person acted alone and may have been having mental health issues. But because this situation occurred in a place of worship, it does have a lot of people concerned. What would your message be to people who are not feeling as safe as they would like to where they pray? Well, first, uh, when we live in a free society, uh, there is always risk. We have to be part of the solution. Dearborn's mayor says they don't have a reason to believe other mosques are at risk. Because a place of worship was damaged, the FBI is assisting in this investigation, as is the ATF. Thankfully, staff at Al Huda says damage inside is minimal, mostly to the carpet in the women's prayer area, and insurance is expected to cover repairs. In the interim, Ahmed says he'll continue to worship. So we will fix it. As for that deadly shooting, we've reached out to every investigating agency for any video footage. The investigation into that shooting and this fire still ongoing. Jen Shantz, 7 Action News.